Prenton Park for this second leg of the third division playoff. A rapturous applause for Tranmere Rovers as they take to the field. A standing ovation from the crowd all round us here after what has been a memorable season and it's not over yet. Five minutes now, this 45 minutes. Harvey, back to Steve Vickers. Vickers is ball inside, Parkinson clears for Berry. Now Hume, he's got David Liu moving down the inside. Higgins and Hume together. And Hume does a good ball down the left wing for Cunningham to chase. Wasn't a good ball by Cunningham. Nab is in with the challenge. It's all mighty challenges going. Vic Callow is really playing this game. Malkin, it's through. He's only got Kelly to beat. And he scored! Well done, Shamir. Well done, Chris Malkin. But well done, the referee, Vic Callow. 41 minutes of the game gone. And Chris Malkin kept the cool head when it mattered most. And Tranmere are ahead. As is David Higgins on number eight, Kevin Hume. Hughes' free kick, Steele. <laughs> McNabb's now taking it off for Tranmere. Back heel to Steele. Can he get a cross in? He can. And the referee gets a penalty. The linesman judges that number 10, Bill Parkinson, handle from the cross from Jim Steele and Gary Kelly is not happy. Well, there's an ironic twist here because Berry got a penalty against Tranmere when there was no challenge by Steve Mungall on Tony Cunningham in the league match earlier this season. Can Ian Muir make himself the equal leading goal scorer in Division 3 for the season? Yes! And really, it's no more than they deserve. Cost him his fitness throughout the rest of the game. But he has had a solid performance in the back four for Rovers, as has Steve Vickers, dominated in midfield by McNabb and Harvey, who've been brilliant. The skipper's on the ball now. That is it. He, ironically, has the last touch of the game. Tramia Rovers are at Wembley twice in one year, twice within the period of seven days. A standing ovation from the crowd, 10,343. Majority of them will be at Wembley on Sunday against Bristol Rovers in the Leyland Daff. I said at the beginning that was the cream on top of the mill. As far as Johnny King was concerned, this was more important. A stern, Solid performance by Tramia Rovers. Goals in the first half by Chris Malkin, a well-executed effort, and a penalty by Ian Muir in the second after Parkinson the handball at Jim Steele Cross. Good play by Eric Nixon in the Tramia goal. A very important challenge by Dave Higgins. Helped Tramia keep a clean sheet. A solid performance by the Princeton Park team as the crowd salute the box. Celebrate Wembley. Two Sundays in a row.